Hello and welcome back to Football Manager Maniac um, and this is our Dulwich Hamlet save um, non-league to glory where we're looking to take Dulwich Hamlet from non-league to the Premier League and this save sees us in the Sky Bet League 2 and surprisingly we are first um, we have played 40 games and as you can see we won 25 drawn 8 and lost 7 goal difference of 32 and we're at this present moment we are Six, nine points, sorry, nine points away from second place. So all we need is just a win, and that basically keeps us just in the playoffs position. Um, we are 17 points away from fourth, so and we are 13 points away from Doncaster, which means that we're basically going to be automatically promoted. I highly doubt we are going to let that slip, but it's just a fact of now: are we going to? have enough to be able to win and clinch the Skybit League 2. That would be a brilliant season. I definitely didn't expect us to be here, as I said. Um, we'll look into the squad, to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of players here, um, realistically, that they're not good enough for this team. Um, if you actually have a look, a majority of our of actual good players are mainly ones from that actually have been brought in via loan so <clears throat> there's a lot of dead wood in this team that needs to go and unfortunately I may have to um, not be, leave the sentimental stuff back and actually get rid of a lot of people um, <clears throat> there's a lot of improving definitely playing in the um, in the league too it's been a bit of a struggle yes We've won quite a lot of games, but miraculously, we've done it somehow. Um, but what I'll do is that if we go into the schedule, um, you can see we've won quite a bit of game from when we lost to um, Northampton. From then, we've picked up a lot of points and we've won a lot of games. Uh, it's been a lot of chop and change between our um, formation, our 4 2 4 um, direct. Um, Gagan press um, counter attacking 442 route one 442. So it's been a lot of chopping and changing, and with players as well. Um, so today's game is obviously against AFC Wimbledon. We need just a win, uh, just to clinch um, a promotion um, place, but that's going to be difficult. Uh, but I just want to show you a bit of the games anyway, starting with this Swindon game, which. Um, we won 4-2. Just give you a brief idea of the types of goals that we've been scoring. Um, so, yeah, once that loads up, um, let's make you aware of how we've been playing, <clears throat> the type of goals we've been scoring. And I just thought I would pick out this game um, just from the way we played and the goals we scored. So we'll have a look um, how we played. Uh, we always seem to really go a goal down and end up... Um, Coming back, as you can see here, um, set pieces are we really need to work on. Uh, we're really not good at set pieces here. And then, as you can see from this goal, this is where we're passing it around um, and just using our, our crossing in and passing into the box. Um, that's a good goal by Dice there. And again, just a good set piece taken by Sanders. Um, can't go wrong with a free kick like that. And then again, you just got us mainly about playing it wide, and this is what with this is just our way of playing. This is the best to get the the lot out play, and then that's a brilliant ball into Andrews to score from the near post. But yep, we've had to mix up quite a thing. We do play a lot of long balls, um, as you can see here. That's just the type of football that works for this team. Um, as you can see, Andrews there, and that's just a brilliant finish. So again, just wanted to show you um, that game from the goals, and obviously. Um, can see they score a penalty and how we've been played how we've been playing a bit <clears throat> and yep um another one i want to show you as well is also the uh, carlisle game so this is show you a bit of like the goals and stuff and again how we how we score our goals how we play and again, this, this is when we're starting with our 4-4-2, not playing two um, attacking wingers, but just playing them as, as uh, just normal midfielding, a right midfielder rather than wingers. <clears throat> as you can see here, mainly it's just long balls again. Again, this is just the best way we can play. 
with the players we've got and then it's a great finish by Dice. Um, we don't have the players that have good passing, so that's how we end up losing quite a bit of games. We don't our pass we lose the ball a lot when we're passing, but again as you can see there, these are all long balls that are being played and again Andrew scores. Um so again as you can see most of our goals are coming from playing long balls. Um you've got to do what you gotta do work with your strengths. Um, but enough of that. Now we'll go into our games against Wimbledon. Okay, so we've started with our 4 4 2 route 1. So that's Scott in goal. We have a back four of Akutu, Williams, Feeney, and more. Uh, we have a midfield four of Dice, Sanders, Sanders, Gilmore, and Jones. Up front, Andrews and Hughes. Um, so, yep, we're just going to deal with. Do a bit of tactics. Definitely want to. Definitely need to press him. So that's um, Adams. We need to press him and tackle hard. And then the save needs to be done with him. So, yep, <clears throat> that's it. Right, so that's it. We started off. Come on, boys. So let's just see how this goes now. I want to change it into, um, let's be positive. And we started off with our first corner. Joel whips it in there. And that's it. Sanders, one note to Dodge Hamlet. That's good. And this is how we get our goals, as I've just said. Um, it's from set pieces and long goals. This is how we score our goals. But that's a good um, good ball in. Um, unfortunately for Wimbledon, they're not able to get ahead on it. And Sanders is there to volley it into the goal. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, I believe... Theoretically, we, we can only drop about maybe three games. Um, not that obviously I want to drop, but we can afford to, to drop points in at least three games. Um, but obviously, we don't want to do that. <clears throat> but they're here with the throw. And there you go. That's heads it out. That's good. But like I said, we we are also we're good at set piecing, set piece, sorry, and we're also bad at defending set pieces as well. So that's why we need to be careful. But Scott <coughs> hurls the ball. Um, so we'll just see <coughs> how that does. Um, at the moment, we are 12 points away, ahead, sorry. So that's always good. Oh, and this is where it comes in. This is from the set piece and they score. Um, as I said, again, we're not good at set pieces, so... Uh, that's something again we gotta work out. But the, uh, um, Scott overcommits there. He comes and he doesn't take anyone out, and he misses the ball, and they have a free header. And there he goes, a free goal for him to hit there. Um, I thought maybe they could be offside, but no, it's not. So at the moment they've come back, and it's one-one. The lead wasn't held for that long. So anyway, there's 26 minutes that's gone. Um, seems to be all Wimbledon. So we'll see how it goes. Um, at the moment, Andrews is not having the best of games. I may just, just change his role. Let's see, hopefully, if that will, if that will help. And then we need to do another shot and then we need to definitely demand more from the boys. And they seem to have reacted well to me demanding more of them. Um, and just play with a 6.2. That's not good. That's not what you want with your strikers. Um, we seem to commit quite a bit of fouls as well, as you can see. Um, there's a lot of fouls being committed. Um, but I'm going to have a look at our... Um, we want to be direct. We want to hit crosses in. And I think we we don't we we don't need to overlap, but we can focus on the width because that's where 
all our stuff is. Um, and we want to definitely take the long kick out there. Take off, get stuck in because that's going to affect us. So it's half time, it's 1 1. Um, seems to be quite an even game. And we just go and see how that goes in from the second half of this game. And hopefully, we'll be able to um, get the points we need um, and win is what we need at the moment. So let's just see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> we still, we have spread this on the bench, so he could actually possibly come on for Andrews. Um, I might just do it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, so I want to tell them to. Uh, um, I want to tell them to show some passion, and they take the free kick, Oof, and that's very close. Just near, just off, just near post. Um, right, I'm going to make the substitution now. I'm going to put Spreaders on now, and he can be his advance forward. And let's see how that goes. <coughs> I could possibly put Dinsmore more, Dinsmore on, and actually um, play him as a deep line. I think I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Gilmore off, put on Dinsmore, and then Dinsmore can be his deep line playmaker on support. Hopefully, that'll be able to. Okay, so we're on the counter now. Here we go. Spray this is on the ball. Oh, and like we said, the ball over the top. And Spouse, come on. You can come on. What are you doing? He's holding it in there. Gilmore. Look, you've got space up there. That's it. Sanders. There to Jones. There you go. There you go. There you go. Spray this. Oh, wait. Oh, no. He's offside. Oh, wait, he's on there. Surely. Ref. Come on. We've been cheated again. He's onside. He's onside there. He's onside. We've been cheated. He is onside. There's no way he's offside there. There's no way he's offside. Right, and they've got the ball. And, ugh, come on, let's get the ball off him. I can't believe that. They were offside. We were, we were definitely not offside. Sorry, we were onside. And Adam's got the ball. He takes a shot and it's just, just past the post. No, we've been cheated. Sorry, we've definitely been cheated. Because that was not offside. There's no way you can tell me that was offside. There's no way you can tell me that was offside. Um, but 76 minutes have gone. Um, there's not much happening. And they've got the free kick. And they've scored. Great. Now they've scored and we've been cheated. We have been cheated. Wimbledon has scored a free kick. There's nothing you can do with that at the end of the day. Yeah, goalkeeper should do better there, to be honest. And we've had a goal disallowed that I believe was onside. And, yeah. All right, it's 83 minutes have gone. It doesn't seem like there's much we can do at the present moment. Um, we're just going to have to go for it now and see what happens uh, but it's a bit too late now um, uh, Jones just takes the corner Dismo's got the ball there you go, Sounders. Do something for us, Sounders. Come on. And yes, 2-2. Two, two. Ben, that's it. We deserve that because we should have never been down. We should have never been losing, but, you know, you have to take what you can take. And we've come back 2-2. Two, two. Um, we needed at least a point 
well, a win. We needed a win, but he still doesn't do much. And Moore's got the ball. If we can go for our last ditch goal, um, that would be great. There you go. Anyone there? Anyone? Oh, oh my gosh. How did he leave that? Why did he leave that? Ah, great. Well, anyway, that's um, the game done. 2-2, Darlish Hamlet versus Wimbledon. Um, at the end of the day, yes, we was winning, but um, we, were, we were undone by a goal that was not offside, but was ruled offside. <sighs> but at the end of the day, um, there's about five games left. We're 10 points clear. Um, we'll see how it goes from there. I'm hoping that we'll be able to win the league. Um, but it's going to be provided, it's going to be very difficult for us. Um, the 4-4-2, four, four, Route 1 seems to be working. We just need to work on our um, defending set pieces. So it's probably something that I definitely need to work on um, going forward because these guys are just not good at set pieces. Um, we score them and we also concede from them as well. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching. This is Football Manager Maniac. Stay tuned for my next episodes. And please don't forget to share, like, comment, and also hit the bell for notifications when I put out videos. Once again, thank you for watching and take care. Bye.